the chairperson of PT Bluebird TBK, which is a transportation company in Indonesia. But throughout my career, I have been uh, holding several positions within the company. And on top of that, I'm also very active uh, to be part of an angel investor, especially for women entrepreneurs. And I also am the founder of Bluebird Peduli, which is the Bluebird Cares program, one of the uh, CSR arms of Bluebird itself. And uh, on top of what Bluebird Peduli is doing, personally, I'm also very much involved in helping the education of underprivileged children, whether it's uh, free schooling for the children of the scavenger uh, professions, uh, parents, or uh, building a free pasantren, which is the Muslim studies, for the underprivileged children. Because I strongly believe that education is the foundation uh, of the nation itself, and uh, it's a huge part of our family. Bluebird was founded in 1972, so if you Google uh, the year that I was born, then I was already Born then. So uh, the Bluebird started in our garage. Bluebird is a transportation company. Our core business is, is in transportation services that consists of taxis, long term car rentals, buses. We also have logistics. But on top of the transportation services company, we also have other companies that uh, focus on property, trading. Uh, and also uh, IT uh, software development. So uh, all in all, at this moment, we have about 50,000 people working uh, within our organization. When uh, the company started in 1972, uh, I was always involved and my late grandmother was the founder of the company. She always teach me about uh, the philosophy, the reason why she's making decision, the reason why she's doing what she's, she's doing. So it's not just the result, like uh, she didn't teach me um, just the, the rules and regulation. She, she was really guiding me through her train of thoughts. So she always put context in every decision she make. So I think that that's the important part that I learned. Um, whether I knew that I would be involved in this company in the future or not, uh, honestly, I didn't know. But I've been working in a company since as long as I could remember. And uh, even uh, during my holidays, I always work part time in the company. And I, de I develop a really a personal relationship with the drivers, personal relationship with the employees. So. I feel like I'm really part of the big family instead of part of the big organization, really. And I think that is the most important part of a Bluebird that we carry on. It's one of the most important value. So in, in a, my investment in startup is beyond just financial investment, because I think what a lot of startup needs is to get the experience uh, from if I cannot say the older generation, <laughs> the more seasoned business person, I would say, the more seasoned entrepreneurs, because we had faced different challenges in our life. And I think that part is very important to be shared with the startups so that they do not have to pay the high price of facing the same challenges. So I think that's, that's what motivates me to do mentorship. So I do a mentorship on top of the financial investment itself. But of course, the founders or the entrepreneurs themselves need to be able to be eager enough to learn more from different uh, part of, of the ecosystem of, of the business itself. So um, the specific industry that I'm investing is uh, mostly at this moment is about education or uh, something that have uh, something to do with sustainability. Um, and my priority is to invest in female founders, in companies with female founders, because uh, I, I strongly believe that there's still a lot of opportunities for women um, to excel, especially now. Uh, but a lot of times they, they don't see the, number one, 
a lot of women entrepreneurs, they don't have the confidence. So it is my job and other uh, female friends of mine, it is our obligation and our job to encourage more women to participate in, in being an entrepreneur. And of course, being an entrepreneur always have its plus and minuses also. So it is really not for everyone. And being able to help them to go through what they are going through, which I may have gone through before, hopefully that will help them to grow faster and wiser sooner without having to, to um, go through the pain so much. I think what is important is um, one need to find their own purpose and the purpose have to be a long-term purpose and and also find your passion because you need to be happy in whatever you're doing if you feel obliged to do things if you feel unhappy it will show it will show in the result and it will show in whatever you do how can you make other people happy if you're not happy with yourself? And that means one need to love themselves before they can love others too. So it's okay to be imperfect. A lot of uh, startup, a lot of young entrepreneurs, they always want to be a perfectionist. After my 50th birthday, only then, I realized that it is very important to embrace our own imperfections because through that, we can grow and we can love more. So understanding yourself is very important. And last one, persevere. Because life is not meant to be easy. And every challenge we, will, we face will only make us stronger if we can learn from it. So that's my guidelines for my life, you know, because I'm also not perfect and I'm still learning to do different things in a different ways. And as long as we have an open mindset and always try to be better with a good purpose, that helps me.